and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, I'll be going over the Madden market. As you guys know, haven't done one of these in a few days, which is very rare. We typically like to do these here. But I'm going to be going over things because playoff promo is now already the bulk of the playoff promo content has already happened which means all that's left for promo is going to be the predictors and the ltd type content like ltd playoff performers now we've not gotten one of those yet although an ltd won't really affect the market too much so really all we have left to really worry about in terms of the market is going to be team of the year well not left to worry about but the next thing we're going to worry about is team of the year market and that will be coming by my predictions within the next five days actually let's push let's go six to seven days at minimum at maximum is what I meant. Six to seven days, I think, is when it'll be coming out. Last year to come out like January 14th, which would be six days from today. So I'm imagining it'll be in a similar timeline because it kind of have to be because the Super Bowl promo comes out so soon after that. So it's kind of a big deal that they have to get it done before them because they can't put them together or at least directly together. But guys, that's, it. that's about it for that. Before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. We are at this point. We should hit 17k already by the time you guys are seeing this video. Hopefully, we did. And thank you guys so much for 17k. The grind's real. Thank you guys for all the support. It's up. It's thanks to you guys. All the Noti Gang comments, all the likes, everything you guys have done is provided for the best week on YouTube I've ever had ever, which is probably why I've been growing so fast. So let's keep it going. Next goal is 20k. Obviously, 18k comes first, but we gotta hit 20k. That is a huge milestone on YouTube for me. So let's get to it as quickly as possible. So if you're new, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below Noti Gang if you're here early. But guys, let's get into this video. Let's head over to the market and kind of see what we're working with. What is the market looking like before Team of the Year? It's gonna be pretty simple. If it's, if it's up, we have to sell. If it's down, it's gonna get worse. So there's really no in between. Let's always check the the groundhog, the 88s. Let's see. Uh, what do we filter these by now? A lot of flood of veterans here. All right, legends, 34k. So they're they're about standard right now. They're looking pretty standard. They're not looking down or up. Somewhere right in between what we're used to. 34k. All right. If anything, they're like a tick, a tick down. Not much. Nothing like overwhelming. So let's see the 90s. Let's get to the 90s. Let's see. Let's, let's start working our way up. The 90 overalls were like, yeah, 70k. They've been coming down a little bit. If you guys remember, there was like that mini market uptick like a few days ago, or like a week ago, and playoff promo dropped. And these were like almost 100k again. I don't know why that happened. Again, I had no like advanced reasoning for it. But they have 91 overalls are really cheap in like the 80k range. And quite honestly, you'll probably find these like in the 70k range if you filter them out. Let's go down to playoffs. Let's see. 82k yeah you can probably find these in the 70k range if you sit here for like a few minutes honestly that's a great training value more than likely probably not the best one but it's definitely a good training value just off off first look here playoff cards are super cheap quite honestly i understand why like they're not that useful of cards like Devin singletary kind of intrigues me but no none of these cards are really like super useful even the top pieces aren't that useful it's more so just the um the set masters those were really good like champions for owns those are like the two highlights. Now we're probably gonna get some pretty decent playoff LTDs based on real life performances. So like maybe a Derrick Henry LTD. And for all you guys asking why I didn't put Derrick Henry in my team of the year, I mean, first off, I'll get this straight for you guys. Team of the year isn't always based on the best players of the year. I'm telling you it's not. It's based on who hasn't gotten a card, who will might, who won't get a card. So Derrick Henry might get a playoff LTD for his, for his, for his uh, wild card performance, possibly. So that's a guy that can't get it. Like I'm telling you, Madden has a specific way of doing things every year. Like in a year where you think Jamal Adams or someone's going to get it, they might give it to someone like Kevin Meyer. I know they play different positions, but the point is like a guy that you think is like the overwhelming favorite, there's literally a, a more low key guy who played nearly as well. You just don't really, you haven't heard about him too much. So they always have, the, it happens every year, guys. Just letting you guys know that. You'll see for yourselves when it happens, how weird team of the year is going to be from what you probably expected. But that was a little footnote there. Let's continue on to the 92s and 93s. You know, I definitely need to get my coins up for team of the year if I plan to uh, have fun with it because I'm definitely a little low on coins here. I, I, I have a lot of stuff to sell. I've just been too lazy to sell it. I need, I need to hire, I need to literally hire one of you guys as my official Madden account manager. You guys sell all my stuff for good prices. You guys do everything. Because once I'm done with all my videos and then I answer comments and I answer Twitter stuff, and before you know it, I'm like, I'm drained out of Madden. I'm just like, I'm gonna go chill for a little bit. I, I, I work on stuff, but I hate, I hate binder clearing. I don't know why I can't get to it. Binder clearing really gets to me. I need to hire one of you guys for that. Again, back to what I was saying. Going on down. So let's filter my team of the week because I did come out yesterday. So I imagine there's probably some pretty cheap prices for that. 136 oh not really surprisingly not 
Now, guys, a lot of these cards might be useful in the near future. Some of these times, sometimes these heroes go into team of the year type sets for players. So these might, these might go up in price. So guys, if you have any team of the year players, you probably shouldn't sell them just yet. I'd probably hold on to them. Team of the week players. Uh, some of the higher overall heroes. I don't know what the exact overall they'll use, but I know some of them will be used. So if you have any of them, they'll probably go up a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, it's looking like they're like in the 110 to 120 range when you filter them. It's not horrible. Actually, more like 115 to 130 range. That's not horrible. Decent prices here. You can honestly make a really solid team. Like if you had a few, if you had like two million coins, you could be a whole team of 93. I know that sounds like a lot, but you have to remember when you when you buy one player for every position and you buy in a higher tier range, you spend a lot more than that. It really isn't that bad for a full team, quite honestly. And then the, and then obviously the Redux. Let's go check out the Reduxes. I rarely check the Reduxes out anymore. Not for myself. It's sad. This used to be the most popular filter for me to go check out cars. Want to go buy things. Now it's like, eh. We have the NFL 100s. We have the playoffs. We have so many new things at this point. Now, Kittle's really high. It's almost like people think Kittle's getting a card soon. And honestly, he probably is for the most part. I would not be surprised if Kittle gets a card in the near future. Probably team of the year has been what, I, what I've been expecting. Maybe a playoff LTD. All really depends on how he plays in the playoffs. But the Niners are still headstrong going in there. Well, not headstrong. They're going in there still. So, there's still a good chance. Now, I'll send it over to the 94. So, the 94s actually, they, they stay pretty similar. Everything here is pretty stayed pretty similar for the most part. I can't advise that you just sell everything, but things are definitely similar. Playoff cards have come down a little bit, but that was expected. Yeah, it's come down just a little bit. Let's go to the Ghost. I see Ghost Amount in Future. 244. I mean, how are you guys? I probably sell guys like Terry McLaurin and Nick Bosa. I mean, I don't see them as long term cards. Well, Nick Bosa's ass for the most part. I really didn't like him. If he could, I mean, He's not horrible. If you power him up and everything, he's not horrible. But I don't think he's the best. And then Terry McLaurin and Daniel Jones. Like, if you have any of these guys, I recommend you sell all the future cards. I'm not really a fan of any of them. As well as the Ghost of Present. Not horrible buys, but I'm telling you, all these cards are going to be overshadowed. Like, Mahomes is great and all, but in the near future, Lamar's going to get his card that gets every single ability ever, and that's going to overshadow that. So, I mean, if you're still rocking with Mahomes, that's fine, but I'm not really recommending it. I mean, only card I really rec recommend you hold on to from here is probably Teron Armstead and maybe Jair Alexander, Julio, and Khalil. Those are those cards. And then for the past, past is also tricky. I, I mean, I like the past, but again, they're only expensive right now because they're the best cards for how long. I don't know. Bo's good. Mel's good. Strahan's good. Um, Marvin Harrison, don't really recommend. Kevin Maway, I do recommend. John Randall's great because he's a defensive tackle. I don't really recommend much beyond that. In terms of what to keep from that, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I think even if the prices aren't great, I think it's, you just just sell some stuff just for team of the year because team of the year is going to be expensive. Just to get two, you want to get one of the top team of the year players, you're probably going to need like 600k. If you want to get two top players, you're going to need about a million coins. If you want to get like a bunch of pretty good players, you're going to need about a million coins. You can get like three players for like 400k each, depending on what price you get them for. You can do it with um, like with 500k. What I have, you could probably get one good player. I mean, the prices have been down a little bit this year, so maybe a little bit less. Prices aren't as expensive as they have been in years past. Like, in years past, this Vic would have been, like, 700k consistently, but they made it much easier to acquire certain players. Patrick Willis, I think, is hell, like, crazy overpriced. I think if you have if you have him, probably sell him. He's not going to stay at that same price. He, he is way too expensive. Almost 700k for a middle linebacker, when we have plenty of other options. Aren't as great, but they're, they're definitely not that far off to, be, to warrant that price difference. I definitely think if you have Patrick Willis, maybe make the switch. I don't think he's that worth it. And then as far as Champ and Terrell goes, you guys were asking when to buy them. Yes, if you buy them today, they will be 450-ish. If you wait like another week, they'll probably be like 380. Because yes, when Team of the Year does drop, there will be a cornerback just as good as Champ. Right now, Champ's just far and away the best over the best overall cornerback, which always keeps his value up. Once they drop a few more cornerbacks in the similar range, he will come down a bit. So yes, they will. Him and Terrell should be coming down a little bit, as well as Patrick Willis. It's kind of disgusting how expensive he is. I'm surprised. I mean, that's like old Madden though. Like for real though, like every other Madden, that's what he would have been. But this year just doesn't match that trend. Like even Michael Vick. The best mobile quarterback right now in the game. He's only 449, and he's easily obtainable through a set. Trust me, this is, is things aren't going to be that should not be that expensive anymore this year. That's the one thing Madden has done. They've kept things a lot cheaper this year, which doesn't exactly help you because at the end, of the, I mean, it helps so many spend players. But for people who buy packs, it just makes the people you pull cheaper. So in the end, it's like the same for pack buyers. It's the same thing. It's you buy like let's say it used to be 700k. You buy this amount of packs, you get enough coins to buy this player. Now things are cheaper, but then everything else is cheaper, so you buy this amount, this much amount. It's the same thing for you guys. No money spent though. Definitely a big improvement for people who uh, grind up their coins. 
But guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I covered pretty much everything. We're down to the 96, 97s. Like I said, team of the year gonna be about probably within the next week or so. I'd imagine just within seven days, somewhere between then is gonna be coming out. So hopefully, you guys are prepared for that, and you guys are ready for the market because the market should crash. I mean, it didn't crash the playoffs, but it's gotta crash the team of the year. Team of the year is gonna introduce like 30 plus players. It's gonna be pretty unreal how many players just can introduce team of the year. And it introduces it, it hits every facet: kicker, punter, kick returner, um, slot receiver, rush end, rush linebacker. You know, there's everything. Sub sub package linebacker. It's gonna hit every facet of the position, so it should affect it to an extent. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you're already to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Hopefully, by the time you're seeing this, we're at 17k. So thank you guys for that. Comment down below any questions you have regarding the market and bam that like button. Can we get 350 likes in this video? It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.